In 2013, this drunk football fan found himself in the spotlight after a video showed him squaring up to an opposition fan at a non-league game. Gordon Hill, the football-loving builder from London, was watching his beloved team, Wildstone FC, when a clip was caught of him confronting the rival, asking... He was chanting... You've got no friends! <laughs> You don't know drowned. When an onlooker began taunting him, resulting in the tame confrontation. If you want some, I'll give it you. You won't do it with me. I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> This short clip of your stereotypical English bloke skyrocketed and with internet fame comes abuse. A wave of threats, assaults and arrests have since followed Gordon, now titled The Wildstone Raider. Prior to the filming of the clip, Raider was heckling opposing Whitehawk FC supporters while intoxicated. He says he lost his temper 20 minutes after suffering personal abuse due to the way he talks and the way he looks. However, the original uploader Danny Ward is adamant this is not the case and insists he was simply filming Raider because he found him amusing. In an interview, Ward said, What happened was, we saw this little bloke getting a bit rowdy at the football, so I turned to my mate Jeff and said, We'll wind him up and video him. I had no idea it'd go this big. Everyone's gone mad for it. After this original video was uploaded, the same channel did a second part where Raider realises he's on camera. Man. Come on, the white hawk. White hawk. Come on, white hawk. The video originally had no views apart from a few of Ward's friends. However, one year down the line, the view count exploded. The Raider was unaware his year-old drunken altercation had been posted to YouTube and going viral as he was at the time looking after his seriously ill sister. Already in a mentally bad place, the Raider wanted to hide away. However, the further the video spread, the harder it became as he couldn't walk down the street without being recognized as that mug from the football merchandise with raider's face and the catchphrase you've got no fans was plastered everywhere and although most people were friendly some were cruel raider's phone number was leaked online and this meant dozens of death threats were sent over to him raider also remembers the time he was running for a bus when he was punched in the head by a stranger causing him to fall into a coma the hate became constant and the number of trolls and death threats swiftly increased day by day. Bravely, the Raider sought to take control of the intrigue that surrounded him. With a bit of help and encouragement, he decided to confront the issue head on and turn it to his advantage, earning a bit of extra money for himself and raising loads more for charity. He did this by releasing the 2014 song Got No Fans and making charity appearances. <laughs> One of these charity gigs was at a darts match in London where Raider recalls nearly losing his life after almost being pushed over a barrier onto a 30 foot drop. This led to a nervous breakdown and not wanting to leave his house again, fearing for his safety. Raider also says about his fame, Once the song was done, I was doing nightclub appearances for a nasty man who stole a lot of money off the charities. I don't want to mention his name because I don't want to go down that road. He milked me as much as he could. He basically destroyed me. On average, I was doing two nightclubs a night. I didn't see my place for about three or four weeks. It nearly killed me. I was living out of a suitcase and not eating or sleeping properly because I was going from one place to another. It was just complete and utter chaos. It drained me. Constantly trying to take the negativity away and give it a positive spin, the Raider appeared once again at the football match between Whitehawk and Wildstone, the match where it all started. And things kicked off. 
Radar originally chose not to sit with the crowd on this occasion because he was with his friend's 11-year-old granddaughter. He claims he was unprovokedly attacked by the same person twice with stewards evicting the attacker. More altercations occurred after the match, which he wasn't fully aware of until he saw his friend involved in a brawl. He tried to intervene as a peacemaker, but was again assaulted, this time in the back of the head. Police initially arrested him, but stewards clarified his innocence, leading to his release. To this day, the raider maintains he was set up and that the stewards confirmed he had done nothing wrong. In April 2017, another video was uploaded of raider having an altercation outside of a Weatherspoon's pub with two bouncers, and it appeared he was in a drunken state. <laughs> Although the Raider is 5 foot 2, you seriously do not want to mess with him, especially after he had the balls to call out Tyson Fury. One of the funniest moments of the Raider has to be in the summer of 2017 when he was handcuffed to a groom-to-be after being hired to attend a stag do in Barcelona. After 2018, the Raider's fame had settled down until he appeared in a poorly filmed video which shows him on the run from police. The chase took place during England's Euros win against Ukraine after police were called to London Bridge Station after the Raider displayed antisocial behaviour from being drunk and disorderly in a public place. You want some? Yeah, they're giving it to you. They're giving it to you. You know. Raider was later released from custody with no further action and his reputation seemed intact as Raider soon found himself in a Sidemen video. What a show. <laughs> what a temptation. And who's this KSI DJ? <laughs> Tell you what, mate, you don't know fans. <laughs> you what you that. really think you can do with me? Or do you want some or what? <laughs> Can you deal with me? Come on. He is doing it. He's doing it. He's, he's, doing it. he's, he's right doing there. it. He's, he's right there doing it. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> Nowadays, the Raider continues his labour work and earns some extra cash by recording personalised messages for people. Jamie Mansell, you've got no friends. You're a boxer. However, do you want to deal with me? Do you want some or what? I will meet you in Walsall and give it ya. Do you want some? Well, do ya? When you look at the bigger picture, the Wildstone Raider is nothing more than your stereotypical English non-league supporter. He means absolutely no harm and is an incredibly giving man who loves charity work.